Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode 5 hey, of Kingdom you, you Hearts right? Let's Play. Man, I really butchered yeah. that intro, but I'm too lazy to go back and do it again. So Here we are. We're talking to Cloud. Anyway? Uh, Cloud is a... Uh, a Final Fantasy character that's I'm just been kind of thrown into Kingdom Hearts here. Um, hopefully down. you're all enjoying this series. Um, you know, I definitely acknowledge it's a little bit different than the rest what of the series I've been doing. But, um, you know, like I, I said, this game is near and dear to yeah, myself. So, hopefully you're all enjoying it. Here you can see the title of this You'll episode was it. Living in the Jungle. Um, we have a few Five things to uh, that we need to go and correct here at the Coliseum. Because we didn't do them on our way out, I kind of abruptly ended the last episode because I really tired and yeah, really just didn't Don't feel like uh, continuing on that path. But here we are, we're wrapping that up. We're like, no how about a rematch, Cloud? No dark powers, because apparently the dark powers are what freaking killed us there. I think I'll pass. He's like, I think I'll pass. He slyly pushes his hair to the side, but we learned Sonic Blade, which is a good move. Um, it's probably even worth forgetting stun impact for, but I, I don't realize that at the time. So, you know, it, it's something I go back and I definitely learn, but I, I'm just, I'm looking through all the stats for everybody here. Why I left this in, no idea. There's probably something that comes once we walk out of that door and it was just a couple seconds, so. You can see we're using the Kingdom Key. We don't have any new Keyblades. And we don't have any new weapons for Donald or Goofy. Which will change in this episode because I think I go back and I buy them. But, um, yeah, there he's we are leaving. Strong. All of a sudden, he's, kind. he's strong. He's, he's always kind. He's always there for you. And he's a handsome, handsome to boat. He's perfect. He's perfect. 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 Perfectly infuriating. Perfectly it makes me crazy. So obviously we got Hades there, the Dark Lord. <laughs> I don't know why he's so low on the chain. Maleficent's the leader of this group, but all the pieces are in place. Relax. All the pieces are in place. Relax. So he wants us to come back. Herc is supposedly training us, and will participate in the cups, the next games, and he'll be able to kill us. But this is my show. Obviously we all know how that goes. As you wish. Lifts and it's like, yeah, fight to your heart's content. And that that's all we get out of that scene. Let's jump past the gummy ship segment there. Hey, Donald, maybe King Mickey's down there. In a backwater place like that? No way. Let's move on. Hold on, Raccoon. Kyrie might be there. Fair enough. Let's check it out. Donald's like, forget about it. He says, let's land. Donald says, no. He says, come on, man. Donald's like, ah, Pewee. Sora, we're landing. You can see here the ship kind of goes chaotically. He's like, don't touch that. So obviously Sora's messing with the steering wheel because he wants to land here looking for his friends. And I will say, this is one of the most intimidating episodes. Whoa. Or one of the most intimidating intros to A New World of All Time. Because you'll see here, we land here without our friends. They landed somewhere else out of the ship. So as I go on my head, Donald, Goofy, and then all of a sudden, oh boy, we land right in the middle of a fight that you must win. Which is, honestly, like, if you're not used to the gameplay of this character, you could very easily lose here. Um, like I said, this is not my first time by any means playing through this game so I'm very used to how this character moves. Okay, I know it's gonna lunge, dodge out of the way, it's gonna attack and then we can just attack it and then we stunned it a little bit. Let's hit him over there. That's a lot of the characters in this first game are like, once you know their gimmick you could really get around them. You can see the stun impact there is very beneficial. But it only stuns him on the first hit, so if it's an enemy like this where you need to hit a combo to knock him to the side, like that, um, yeah, it's not very impactful, so that's why we're going to get rid of stun combo here in a little bit. But uh, we finally knock him out. He roars. And then Tarzan, of course, comes to save the day. Good old Tarzan. Let's open the soda pop here. There we go. 
Sabor. So Danger. that's Sabor. Danger. Uh, thank you. And thanks. Thanks, thank ma'am. Uh, uh, what is this what place? Is this place? Tarzan, can you tell me? This place. This place. This okay. place. Okay. Where, where did the others, others go? go? Look, I got separated. Like I got separated from, from, my, from friends. my friends. Have you seen Have them? Have you seen them? Come on, Tarzan. Help me out, brother. Friends. 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 Right. Yes, my Tarzan. Friends. There's two of them. The There's two of them. The loud one is Donald. And you can see he. Uh -huh. He's like man. You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends. He's looking for his friends, Riku, Riku and Kairi. So he's. And Kairi. He really wants his friends back. Oh, Riku. He really wants friends. Riku and Kairi. Right. Kairi. He's giving up on friends. Donald and Goofy, and then we could uh, see Kairi a little right. bit. Um, She's just kind of hanging uh, out there. Friend, here. But of course, really? we'll see this multiple <laughs> times throughout the series. Kairi just disappears. Huh? It's uh, Sora's imagination going a little wild. And then Tarzan's talking about this he who 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 ha Not sure I understand, crap here. <laughs> Take me to Rico I've heard it enough times that I, I know what it sounds like. He who 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 ha. Tarzan, go. And Thank you, Tarzan. I'm Sora. Tarzan Thanks, buddy. Go, Sora, go go. Tarzan goes or go go. So here we are. We will approach this world. And here we have the actual intro, deep jungle. I think Tarzan just jumps for it. Like he's all ready to go. Nope, first we gotta meet these two. These two goons. Performing goon like behavior. Who needs him? We can find the king without him. Huh? Of course, we get some screaming from them too. Run, little gorilla man, run! And he drops a gummy block. I'm sure that'll be helpful. Oh, there's Clayton. Which, honestly, as a side note, um, with Clayton there, um, he's not part of the Big Bad, but I'd like to think he is. One of the funniest um, video explanations I've ever seen upon him is, like, everybody else is like, We'll beat him with this. We'll beat him like that. And it'd be funny to see Clayton walk in and be like, How about you use a fucking gun? <laughs> it's one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. I wish I could uh, give the content creator, like, acknowledgement who came up with that joke. But I saw it one night while I was just browsing YouTube. Um, if anybody knows who that is, let me know. Uh, I'll tag them down, give them credit on, like, the the actual video itself. Like, that, that joke is sort of theirs, but uh, I, I just thought I'd share that. It's, like I said, it's not an original thing. I, I definitely, another content creator definitely posted that out there and I saw it one night and I just, I remember like every time I played through this world, that's all I think of because it's like one of the funniest comments I've ever seen <laughs> about this game ever. Here we are, you can see that led to like down here. There's a treasure chest up here, so good thing we checked. I think that just leads back to the treehouse. Mega Ether. I might as well just attach it to myself. I don't think I'll need it right now, but... It's one of those things I don't want to lose. Let's go ahead and save. Four hours, 14 minutes in. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. We're getting through it pretty good here. Let's go down here. This is... Uh, an aggravating part, and you'll see there's a lot of cuts coming up in this episode. Um, this world is a lot of back and forth. Like, you gotta go here, no, you gotta go here, no, you gotta go there, no, you gotta go here. So it becomes very annoying to traverse this world, but at least this takes us to, like, where we need to go 99% of the time. Which is helpful, even though that second one, I don't know any way of avoiding it without having the double jump on, which we don't know right now. We don't know how to fly either, which would really fucking help, but, um, yeah. We just go here, and then we get some story exposition, because of course we do. We land here. Let's just break that, for whatever reason. There's some stuff here you can master at this table, and you get some cool items for, like, giving them... 
It, it's kind of like the plants, right? You give them some really small items. And then you get some big items out of giving them small items. So, you know, it's cool. It's a neat little gimmick, but it, it's not really something that we need right now. We definitely have plenty of time Tarzan. to play around. Oh, She's like, Tarzan, this? who's uh, this? Hi there. Uh, hi there. Um, um, oh, you, you speak English. English. So, so obviously we're not a, a relative not of Tarzan's. Tarzan. Yep. Are you here to study the gorillas? It's correct. Highly doubtful. We're not here to study the gorillas. Sorrel, Goofy, Donald. <laughs> and obviously we're still fighting with Donald over the our ship dispute. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Clayton's just like, oh, clowns. Mr. Not much for hunting gorillas. Studying and she's them. like, we're not hunting them. We're studying them. Come on. Well, Why he's on even there. on this expedition is like a, a baffling question. You know, it makes zero sense at all. Anyway, but um, I'm I guess huh? we'll just roll with it. Zorro, look what we found. Look, look what we this. found. <laughs> Good old goofy. What is that? It's a gummy block. Same stuff we used to build our ship. The king could be here. It's a good thing we landed, Donald. Duck, son of a bitch. Let's put let's put Donald away. Put Donald away. Goofy, join the party. Donald, get out of here. We don't need you here. You don't like us anyways. Got a mithril shard. All that stuff's gonna start making sense in later episodes once we learn to like synthesize items. Here, I think I was just looking like how we can improve the gummy ship. Uh, I might have like a full-blown episode about that because it's it's a process. I tried it in a later episode and it eats up so much time. So I'm not gonna go into great details about that unless we have like a spin-off episode where we really go into details about it, but. The only thing we have is the Inferno Band, which will lower my AP but raises my defenses. I don't really want that. Maybe I'll give it to Goofy. And then let's... Yeah. I, I give Tarzan the Protect Band, but I don't know when I do it. Now, we have to go back in there. Because we have to talk to her to progress the story. I didn't realize that. I went around and I beat the tiger around a bunch. The leopard or whatever the hell he is. But we have to get these little pictures for the slides, and they're not hard to find, but I guess it's just annoying. So I leave that in here, because now they're apparent, before you couldn't see them. Which is always a fun trope to a game. I'm just looking around for slide photos, there's one right there. So we have two and four. I don't think we need to find all of them, honestly. Like, I, I don't know what the requirements are, but I, I find it hard to believe that we need to find all of them. I beat this in case there's one hiding in there. Okay, no, just some orbs. Now, I know there's definitely some on top of the... the hut here. So we need to push this guy around so that we can... Oh, I found one accidentally there. Two, four, and three are what we have. Let's move this guy into, like, a good position. And, of course, these guys get in the way. I just want to move it over here so that way I could use that to kind of jump up. I think we could gimmick that jump, but I don't really want to. There's slide six and one. I think we're just missing five and three, maybe. Oh, there is one there. Shit, I missed it. I don't, like I said, uh, like it, it's just hard to traverse this world in general right now. Because we don't have like very many skills that we can use to climb on top of things and stuff like that at this point in the game. Like, we're kind of lacking on what we're actually able to do. So that kind of sucks, but... You know, we're making our way through it. There's one right there. Come on, come on. Okay, slide five, yeah. So I think I'm definitely missing one slide. 
but we don't need all the slides. It kind of like the the queen stuff, right? Sora's like, huh? What's wrong, Sora? Oh, nothing. This place it just looks so familiar. But how? Oh, I've never been off my island. And then just a whole bunch of pictures, like ancient pictures, eight pictures, boat pictures, fencing, and it, stuff that's not relevant at all. Well, Tarzan. Well, Tarzan. Where are my friends, Riku and? Where are my friends, Riku and Kairi? They're fencing. Didn't you just see, sir? Hey, <laughs> no, he has no idea. That leaves just he's, he's got one no place. knowledge. That leaves just Young one man, place. We've been in this jungle for some been this jungle time for now. quite some time. But we have yet to encounter. But we haven't yet to encounter yours. the friends of yours. I'd wager they're with the gorillas. I'd wager they're with the gorillas, but Tarzan refuses to take us to them. Really? Mainly because this guy's a hundred son of a bitch with a double fucking barrel take shotgun. Us to the gorillas. Gorillas. I wouldn't take Clayton to the gorillas either, Tarzan. I understand. Maybe just take me. Tarzan. Are you sure? Tarzan, go see Kerchak. Tarzan, go see Kerchak. He must be the leader. Perfect. I'll go along as an escort. After all, the jungle is a And of course, Clayton's world. being, like, notoriously bad. You know, he's a bad character. Bad villain. He's gonna be bad. That's what bad people do. Be bad. But here we are. We're swinging up on the vines. We're going to meet Kerchak. Let's go meet him. There's Kerchak. On Kerchak's wife. His baby mama. Kerchak, please like, listen Kerchak, to me. Kerchak, please listen to me. I know the nesting grounds are secret. I know the meeting grounds them. are sacred, but I trust them. You see, I want to help them. Because He wants to help them. Because well, they need us. Because we need them. Kerchak's like, mm, man, Ooh. fuck this noise. Did you get that? No. I ain't about this. Kerchak. Kerchak. And he's like, oh, I hear something up here. Kerchak gotta go take care of business, baby. What do you think about that? He seemed distracted by something. He's looking towards a treehouse. So we'll cut. We'll go to the treehouse. Here's what we see. We see the little baby gorilla. He's playing. And then, of course, Clayton is being bad. Donald's like, what are you doing, man? He misses his shot. He doesn't hit the gorilla. And now Kerchak looks down in disapproval. On the whole group. please. So now we're all screwed because of Clayton. You'd see a little bit of Tarzan's ass there. <laughs> I'm sorry, little baby gorilla. It's not my fault. Not my fault, man. You like don't Clayton's understand. dick. I was only trying you don't understand. To... I was just trying to, uh... A snake, a snake by. slithered see, by, you I see. Saved I saved that poor well. gorilla's life. Yeah, Clayton's just obviously bad. So let's jump on to the next effective action here. Let's go into the tent. That's what How we need to do to progress the story. Now, Miss Porter, as I told She's you, flipping out at Clayton. I was not aiming at the gorilla. You are not to go near the gorillas again. Oh, because of one mishap. Now he's no longer allowed to be near the gorillas. <gasps> he sees that all of us are about to beat the shit out of him. He's like, ah, oh, peace out of here. Hell, get the hell out of Dodge. What am I doing with these imbeciles? Last of gorillas. I'll hunt down every last one of them. I'll track them down. So Clayton's just here to kill gorillas. That's I'll it. If you've watched the Tarzan movie, you obviously know. That's his whole character. Mm. Just kill every gorilla. But of course, it's not a gorilla that hunts him down. It's a freaking heartless. I do hope Mr. Clayton is safe. We need to do that to progress the story. If we don't talk to them, it doesn't progress the story. It becomes a whole load of bullshit. Not falling for it again. But here, now, we have to go over here. 
And there's some sirens going by. Hopefully you don't hear them too much. I'm hoping not. There'll only be a few seconds if you do. Sorry about that, folks. But um, here, yeah, we have to fight the, the leopard again. I think he's a leopard. That's what he looks like. Hopefully the sirens have gone far enough away now. It doesn't make such a huge deal. See, if we get a good combo on him, we get him to land there. And in the past, I will say, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 before this final mix on the Xbox used to be a little bit more intimidating for this battle because you couldn't lock on. Now that we can lock on, we can kind of see where he is even when he's hiding in the bushes, which kind of defeats the element of hiding in the bushes because it automatically switches to where he is. So there's, like, no level of intimidation there. But it used to be, like, pretty intimidating, this battle. Now it's just kind of like, eh, whatever. But... Yeah, it's... It, it could be somewhat challenging, I guess. Um, it's not a hard one. He's not a very difficult, like, sub-boss, per se. You know, he definitely has some challenges, but... I think, at this point, it's mainly, like, if you don't understand the mechanics of the game. That's what ends up hosing you here. I can see little gorilla, he's running. He's like, oh no, look at all these monkey hearts. The monkey. <laughs> I'm gonna run and hide with you, Jane. I think her name's Jane. It's been a long time since I played this game. And a long time since I watched Tarzan, honestly. Maybe I'll watch Tarzan soon. I don't know. Disney, you bastards, you. <laughs> Get me watching Tarzan and shit. Okay, so here we go. We got to battle some monkeys. I left some of this monkey battle in, but... We just need to go. Um, I love some of these guys in here, too. If you give them exactly what they want, which is usually, like, a specific magic spell, you can get some pretty cool stuff out of them. I don't guess it correctly there. It, it's randomized. I think these guys want fire in this world, but... Yeah, it's, it's randomized. Something coming. Jane Danger. Jane near the treehouse. Okay. So let's jump on over to the treehouse, baby. Let's go. Climbing up the vines. And there's Jane. Held captive. Near an exit where she could just leave. The black fruit looks suspicious. So I really drag this one on. We need to hit these all with fire. And they will open up. And then we need to kill that big ass black fruit there that's just kind of hanging. I don't think we could beat it without beating the other plants. I, I think I've tried that before and it, it just does not work. Like we need to get these small plants out of the way first by hitting them with fire. I don't think we could just beat him, Average Joe. Good luck though, buddy. You can see it gets infuriating because you can't really lock on to the target while other targets are alive and they just continuously spawn which becomes very infuriating but we learned scan which is a move that will apply not next episode but the episode after which is an important move because we could see all the health that's left in the enemy that we're dealing with at the time which not so valid for heartless but like as far as like just general enemies go or like bosses and stuff it's very nice to see like how far along we are versus how far we need to go so we need to step away and hit him with fire a few times and if there you go he opens up and i'm not sure if this one down here opened up yet i need to go back and check that i think because i'm not entirely positive that it did these guys will just keep spawning which is very infuriating because we can't target onto the plants if those guys are in the way like here we can because nobody's in the way but in other areas people are in the way so it becomes oh just so difficult to target what we want to target even though it's right there in our face like it's it becomes really annoying and you see, I almost, if there wasn't a barricade in the way, I would have fell for what I always fall for is um, a lot of the times when I'm battling these Heartless, I'll go into the next room just from pinning them in a corner, which is not 
ideal because then we lose like a lot of the money and health and stuff like that we would earn off them which becomes very infuriating but I digress we'll finish up this battle here come on average Joe you gotta beat that big ass black thing in the middle of the screen it's, it stands out like a sore thumb I passed it like nine times now but now that we actually apply fire to everything else we can beat it We just needed to get them out of the way first. That's the the key to this fight is they have to be knocked out. Otherwise you can't do anything. See I get confused there because Vine 2 is offered, but Vine 2 is just below our feet. That's why it's offered. But I knock it out eventually. I discover. I kind of put two and two together and realize what's going on. Clayton came to the tent. That's the last thing I remember. Gorillas trapped. We must help the gorillas. Okay, let's go help the gorillas. And here we are. This is what I would say was like the hardest boss I faced when I was a kid. This was the point in the game in which I gave up for a few weeks. It becomes so incredibly hard. No! This boss could be really intimidating if you're not like overly familiar with the game. Clayton. This is like my Clayton. first big sticking point. Like not Clayton. This could be a serious challenge. So let's jump into this. There's some heartless. We're beating Clayton. He's firing his gun at him, which, honestly, it is not a struggle. You know, as long as we keep our distance, the gun really doesn't do shit. <laughs> then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the ground erupts. Another soda pop. Holy shit, something blasts Tarzan out of the way, and we can see Clayton's now riding whatever it is. So here we enter into like our first major boss battle. This is a Disney character, plus an invisible heartless right now. I need to get out of here and heal. Like right now, otherwise we're gonna be in deep shit. Mega potion that affects all of my team, so everybody gets health, which is good. And here's what the character actually looks like. He is a wicked bastard. Man, look at him. That's such a cool design. They really went all out to make these guys like full-blown monsters in the first game. It's so cool. Now that he's down, we can knock Clayton off, which is the goal. Because Clayton can only really hit us from a distance. And as long as one guy's falling on him and we're all dealing damage to somebody, it's not going to be a huge deal. I decided to thunder until I'm out of magic because I don't have cure. And it'll honestly be beneficial in the long run toward this battle. Because Clayton's getting damage done to him too, then from the thunder, which is what we want. And you can see the stun doesn't do much against him. You know, maybe it knocks him unconscious a little bit there, but I think that happens anyways if we just give him a combo. And now he's actually like knocked on conscious, conscious. That's, you know, just part of like his boss episode. Clayton can heal himself, which you just saw there. It's a little bit annoying, but that's why we want to stick to this guy first. Because as long as we hit this guy... Um, and you can see we're using our thunders again to hit Clayton as well. Uh, this guy is the harder of the two to take out. Because those eye things will just chase you all over the friggin' map. Like, it, it doesn't matter. But there, he's done. He can no longer fight, so let's take on Clayton. Clayton should be a friggin' walk in the park. Um, all he has is his gun. He has no short, a short range attack. So we should just be able to just continuously slam on him until he's done. He's gonna try to run and get away from us so that way he can shoot us anyways. So yeah, no, no real hard ship this time around. But like I said, if you don't know the layout of that boss battle coming into it, that boss battle can be really, really, really tough. So, you know, it always feels good to get that out of the way. The 
Clayton goes down. We have defeated the Heartless Boss. And we learned Cure, which is a huge deal. In the next game, or in Kingdom Hearts 2, not a huge deal, but in Kingdom Hearts 1, huge deal. We can heal all of our health with one magic point. Which is tremendous. <laughs> it's an ungodly power. But Kerchek just decides to throw us. After everything we've done for him. Turns out not as far as it looked in that previous screen. We actually get to go to the... The mating ground here. Of the gorillas. For the good deed we did. We got his approval. Now that we dealt with... Clayton. This is Tarzan's home. The waterfalls. Tarzan home. Now let's go into the waterfall area. I think I cut very little of this out. There's a lot of exploration that goes on in here. I cut all of it out. Shit. Um, yeah, there's, there's a ton of exploration, a ton of small things to find. But at the end of it, once you're able to scale up the edge of the waterfall... This is your home? Hoo, 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 hoo. But that means... We're able to seal up the keyhole in this world is the big deal here. Um, you get some... Whatever. Friends there. Sea friends. Oh, now I got it. He who 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 ha means heart. Okay. Yeah, some neat game gimmicks here. I use neat rather loosely. So that's what it meant. You can find your friends in your heart. Same heart. Clayton. Clayton lose heart. Lose heart. No heart. No heart. No, no see friends. friends. No, okay. no heart. No heart. No see friends. Sorry about what I sorry said. Sorry about what I said, Donald. He's sorry too. Yeah, all for one, huh? Thank you, Goofy. You can see here it's forming a keyhole there. At least it will in a second. So the keyholes exist throughout the worlds. If we seal them, they won't face utter demise like Destiny Islands did. You know, sealing them seals them off from the darkness as far as the lore is concerned. Like, even though we may return and see Heartless here, as far as lore goes, once we seal up these keyholes... Heartless can no longer spawn in this world. It's kind of closed off and back to its separate little thing. Which is why it's vitally important that the Keyblade Holder goes around and seals up all these keyholes. You know, it's kind of our... Gonna be our objective moving forward. And we got a navigation piece there. Which is gonna become pivotal in the next episode. Let's see Maleficent talking to the big group of baddies. What drew the heartless like, to who that world? drew the heartless to that world? It was Clayton. The hunter lured them there. Obviously, it was it Clayton. It was his lust for power that was the bait. It was lust for power. But that was the bait. The bait was but it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. Clayton freaking died at the hand of a lizard monster. <laughs> yeah, he got chomped, yeah, he got chomped instead. instead. Hmm. That's... I mean, a lot of these characters you should be able to make up now. Um, obviously that's Jafar. Jafar is now visible. We can see him. I'm not gonna go into detail about the other ones, but the two in the background that I'm seeing, you should be able to make out if you've seen their Disney movies. Which I would say one of them is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. So it's very cool to see that crossover. But um, with that being said here, ladies and gentlemen, we only have about a minute and 30 seconds left. So I am going to give my, you know, kind of whatever. And there you can see they're gathering the princesses as well. But I'm going to give my good old solid outro like you normally do. Thank you all for watching this episode. Um, if you made it this far, please 
slam that like button, uh, consider subscribing, or even drop a comment, regardless of what it is, I will definitely, um, answer that comment, or at least, like, say what's up, you know, um, I always like to be interactive with everybody out there, so it really means a lot, and it, it definitely builds a lot of motivation towards, like, creating future videos in the future, so, you know, if you want to go and do that sort of thing, please feel free to do it. Um, it's greatly appreciated on my end. If not, I completely understand because I don't leave videos, or I don't leave comments and things like that as well. So I'm completely understanding of that situation. But if you did like this series, or you like the previous series, or you like the, you know, anything about the episode, please feel free to point that out in the comment section. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you all on the next one here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it'll be our second trip to Traverse Town, which you could obviously see a little bit of a preview there. But it's going to be very exciting because there's a lot of stuff that happens very quickly. So look forward to seeing you all on that one and take it easy for now.